So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father then? You have it half correct. How could you, boy? That Hydra had a family. So do I. Everyone, look who it is. So, you had a run-in with the Minotaur out in Elysium, did you? Perhaps the only soul within this realm more bullheaded than you. Ambrosia. You know the penalty for attempting to sway an overseer of the House of Hades with foreign contraband, don't you? I can't entirely say I do, though if it involves lashings and whatnot, I already get more than my share of that, so figured I would take the risk. I've got a survey here if you'd like to fill it out. No. no. I'd not have given you the cloth about my loins, much less my name, but a fight you certainly shall have. Sleep is for the living, am I right? Oh, we're busy just formulating more of our dark schemes together, Zagreus. <laughs> Hiya, friend! Whoa, wait, 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 this just can't be right. It says, it says, <laughs> you got beaten by a tiny little rodent? <laughs> Sorry, I just, you have my sympathies. No, keep them. Oh, don't take it so hard, Meg. Once you die several dozen times, you start to get accustomed to the emotional pain as well as the physical. Get on. Thought I'd drop in. I'll send you to the lowest depths. I'll also do that. They fought bravely, but Lord Dionysus was too strong. And Atana's like, well, when you stay out in the hot sun up there long enough, your skin kind of starts to bake a little bit. You have to get yourself pretty worked up and picture what you're seeing like a, well, um, like a picture, really. And then, whoop, stone statue. It's funny, I used to think everybody could do it. Probably for the best that we cannot. This has to be some kind of bad dream. Ah, <laughs> it's finally time, Mysterious. He's here. Aren't you now, you vile, insignificant hellspawn? Who wants to be the first to die? Not me. Though I have to say, I'm impressed you can drive, fight, and shout all at the same time. And I, fiend, am impressed that you yet live and breathe. <sighs> Truer words have not been spoken, mate. You really think I doubt the power of Baldy after everything we've been through? <laughs> no, it was just a jest there at Baldy's expense. Look at him. He gets so annoyed when I call him a plain old rock like that. But then he calls me an old lazy lump, and then we're even for a while. Hey, what is it you're always staring at out there anyway, Fan? I don't see anything. The river Styx is right in front of you, and you don't see anything, Zag? I can watch it endlessly. Studying the competition, you might say. Don't spend all in one place. Message for your boss for my professional associate who wanted you to know, and I quote, So you're locked in ruthless battle with a river, searching it for any signs of weakness, that sort of thing. That sounds stressful. Supervisor here. Achilles, sir, I have a very important question. Why do you detest onions so much? Have they wronged you somehow? As soon as you slice into one of those things, it makes you cry. Don't you find that a bit unsettling, lad? I won't shed tears over a cut up vegetable. What is it, Zagreus? You've got that pleased with your self luck, which can only mean you have something obnoxious to tell me. I never. <laughs> You're the best boy in the whole world. Even if heads beta and gamma don't much care for pets, do they? It just struck me how much you've changed, Zag. I still remember when you kept trying to singe Cerberus's tail with your feet. Haven't seen you do that in a while. Come on, tell me, please. No means no. Why won't you tell me? Nice try, pal. What if I never hit you again? Uh, no? So help me, Skelly, if you don't tell me who you're working for, there will be no more violence between us, ever. No. Please have mercy, Boyo. No mercy, Skelly. So you just plain ran out of time and died, all according to the Pact of Punishment 
there, huh? Now that is what I call a deadline! <laughs> Too bad I can't just shift you to the top. Though this wasn't so bad. Hi, Father. Having somehow defeated Grim Lord Hades in a thrilling fight, Prince Agrius discovers it was all a dream. A rather deadly nightmare, actually. Ah! 